Hard-hitting contest. The size difference, David versus Goliath. Can Goliath conquer David? That's the question. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, Kim Tam Park at Melanie Springs proudly presents to you your Ohio Championship Wrestling Danger Zone main event of the evening. It is a singles contest scheduled for one fall. Your referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, senior official, Mr. Keith Smith. I don't think he knows that three pins after two. The Ohio Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the corner to my left. He is your challenger this evening, wearing purple with white trim. He weighs in at a ton of fun. Wrestling off the back street, is he, he is a former OCW Heavyweight Champion. No shame, Jimmy Shane. Jimmy Shane could make history tonight, but this man stands in his way. His opponent, standing to my right, wearing emerald green and black. He weighs in at 170 pounds, wrestling out of Akron, Ohio. He is your reigning and defending OCW heavyweight champion, the Thunderbird, Jake Ely! But if you have to talk about history in OCW, the name of Jake Ely has to be on the tip of your tongue as well. The youngest person to complete the Triple Crown and the youngest OCW heavyweight champion in history. Like I said, Jake has improved so much. We've been through battles and wars together. We've been through battles and wars against each other. There is a reason this man is champion. And I don't think Jimmy Shane understands the capacity that the Thunderbird has. Jake's championship reign started when he won DBI 9 last year, used that opportunity to win the heavyweight championship the following month, has proven to be willing to do whatever it takes to retain that title. And that's what a champion should do. They should do whatever it takes to maintain, retain, to be a champion. A lot of checking going on here. Well, if you look in that hat, you'll notice that there's normally a weight that he likes to put, he being Jake Ely, uh, excuse around me? his boot. Oh, excuse me, what is he, a magician? What is he, Houdini? He's just pulling rabbits out of his hat? Oh, he just oh. slapped the taste <laughs> out of Jimmy Shane's <laughs> mouth. There there's goes the, the bell. bell. Oh, spinning. And we are this. underway for our main event for the OCW Heavyweight Oof. Championship, and Jimmy Shane is pissed. The size difference in these two is ridiculous, just towering over Ely. Referee being a little aggressive here. And Ely stalling in the ropes, does not want to get into the battle. Oh, wow. Big headlock there from the champion. I don't think I've ever seen somebody come off the second rope with a headlock. Skill and talent. He is the king of the headlock. Self-proclaimed. <laughs> Are you denying the king of the headlock? I'm denying that body check just now. Nice drop down there by Ely. It's over. Leapfrog Gets and down. another drop down. Oh, wait a minute. The knee of Jimmy Shane. Did Ely clip the knee? Jimmy Shane's had a little bit of a history about uh, knee problems. Oh, no, no. This is not how you would want anything like this to happen. Jimmy Shane clutching that left knee. Certain. I don't know if Ely might have clipped the knee or did something. 
it doesn't on take that drop down? It doesn't take much. He could have clipped the knee. It could have been just the motion of just getting over and then hitting the ground again. Knees are sensitive. Jimmy Shane is... The referee hasn't called the match yet just yet. Well, he did throw up that... The, every wrestling fan who has watched wrestling for more than an hour knows about the X symbol. That is a symbol that we use to communicate that there is an injury in the ring. And that is where we are at right now, but we do not know the extent of the injury. And knowing Jimmy Shane, he is not going to be taken out of this matchup. And this match going to continue. But that does put a bullseye on the knee for Jimmy Shane. The shameless elbow connects. And another one. I don't think God. Uh, I think that knee's just fine. I think he's just fainted Jake Ely out. You're saying that our challenger's lying? I think he is. I think there's some mischief afoot. Look at that. Drop kick. Hmm. Wrecking ball style drop kick connects to the champion. If like that is the case, it's turnabout's fair play for Ely because Ely's been doing it for months. Deceptive. Deceptive. Oof. Big chop across against the barricade, caving in the chest of the champion. Oof. Off the steps goes Ely. We might have to check and see if he has a tooth missing. Head first into the barricade. Referee needs to get control of this match. This is out of control. Jimmy Shane throwing up the W. He could be looking to finish this thing early. Looks all right now that he's able to plant. Big scoop, body well, slam. He did favor that knee a little bit. And again oh, and to Ely the knee. clipping the knee. This time he definitely clipped the knee and targeted it. See, that's what happens. That's why you don't lie about knee injuries or any type of injury. You should be honest and truthful because this is what happens. Well, that's the man right there fighting for OCW. Fighting for OCW, he's fighting for himself. He's fighting for a championship. Didn't you just say you got into a tug of war with his tag partner over the championship? And this is what I'm trying to tell you. It's all about ego with Jimmy Shane. It's the Jimmy Shane show, let's be honest. More than anyone else, Crosshairs Kelly, you should know the heart and the will and the love and the passion that Jimmy Shane has for OCW. He was in the ring with you as part of that Hontourage versus OCW match at Tradition. Extreme Warfare. Exactly, and it was all about Jimmy Shane. It's all it was about. That's why Jake Ely walked out, because he knew that he wasn't going to just stand there in, in, in Shane's shadow or in Robbie's shadow. He had to make something of himself. Right now, a chin lock. Jimmy is fading a bit here. He needs to keep him down and can't let Jimmy Shane get back to a base. But... Jimmy back to his feet. Fires in those elbows. Right back to the knees. Smart, oh. smart, smart champion right there. Give that man a clap. I mean, we know the story. You've heard the old cliche the of the one-legged man in the ass-kicking contest. Listen. This hooks is the leg not deep covered. And hooks that bad leg. See, this is what I'm talking about. There is a awareness to Jake Ely. Now that he's stepped out of everybody else's shadow and into the light. You saw that he hooked the bad leg, the leg that he was working on, so he could get the leverage on the pin. Genius. Oh, wait a minute. looking for that kill switch. I think it's called the thunder switch. Defibrillator. That's it. Into the cover. Is it enough Hooks for the, the champion to retain? No. Okay. Ely definitely thought he had it there off the defibrillator. I've but taken that move. It caves your chest in. It makes it harder to breathe. In tag team championship matches, as a matter of fact, with Ely. Correct. And singles matches. But there's one thing I will not deny, is that, and that's the toughness of Jimmy Shane. Absolutely. If he does have an injured knee, to continue to fight. If he has an injured knee. Went for the thunder switch again. Back out. Oh, and a chop block by the champion. What Back a to it. disgusting. He knows about the injury and he is now trying to exploit it. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you add salt to the wounds? Why wouldn't you attack a giant's base? Bring him down to your level. 
This could be a matter of attrition here. If that injury gets any more significant, any more damage gets done to the knee, it's going to be harder to even walk to plant a, for a step. And you know what that does? That takes away the spear from Jimmy Shane. That is smart on a champion's behalf. It doesn't just take away the spear. It takes away every offensive maneuver that isn't stand and throw a punch. I mean, he could be on his knees and throw a punch. And he'll still be the same height as Jake Ely. Shot to the ribs by the champion. There is no level of respect that Ely has for anybody in OCW. He has to make a statement. He has to make a point. There is a reason he's doing these things, and that's to maintain, retain, and to stay OCW champion. Jake Ely only respects himself. As he should. He's the champion. Do you not respect the champion? Is that what you're saying right now? Yeah, show the man some respect, Polly. Yeah, you didn't even clap for him. Ridiculous. The champion has targeted that potentially injured knee. We don't know the severity, but we do know that it caused our OCW management team and officials to come out to ringside to check on the severity of the injury. They Modified have, figure four locked in here. They gave the okay to con continue the match, and it has been an agonizing attack on that knee ever since. So the question is, do you take do you take the loss Cover or do you make the option to continue to fight to suffer more injury? That's what I'm talking about here. Like these are the decisions that you have to make when you're fighting for a championship. Well, the pride of a champion, but he's not a champion. Jimmy Shane is a three-time former champion, former the longest reigning Ohio Heritage champion in history. There we go. The, the only thing he hasn't done ironically enough is win the tag team championship. Oh. He's not going to quit. Nobody's asking him to quit. Could have just taken a break. A shot to the back and now just clubbing blows. Ely just hammering down those shots. Doing a great job staying on top of Jimmy Shane. He's got some words for... Uh, oh, oh, that did not go the way Ely thought it would. He's got wrist control. Baseball oh, wow. slide. Oh! Wait a minute. <laughs> Effective. Ingenious. Get this man. Come on. That, Unbelievable. That's amazing. He essentially made Jimmy Shane low blow himself. Oh, come on. And that's the only reason he didn't get disqualified. Jimmy just needs to keep his hands to himself. Oh, but rather keep his hands off of himself. <laughs> <laughs> Knee slapper. Knee slapper. That's great. Ely proud of himself. As he should. That was a very smooth technique there. He has the upper hand. He has the advantage. And now he should take it home and put him down. Oh, wait a minute. That Uranagi that usually sets up the spear, but I don't think Jimmy Shane is in any condition right now for that big move. We don't know if that knee swelled up in that knee pad. We don't know if he has feeling in that leg. We just don't know. Adrenaline is such a drug, a natural drug. The OCW faithful rallying behind their favorites. Trying to get behind Jimmy Shane. They want him to be successful. But the question is, can the champion regain his composure? Oh, big close heavy clothesline. Line. And Jimmy Shane has found fifth gear. Oof. Nice shot there. A bit of an uppercut. Straight palm strike to the jaw. Ooh, big knee. With the knee that was injured. That's a bit interesting. Like I said, adrenaline will make you do crazy things. Adrenaline put Jimmy Shane in the second rope. With that but the knee gave win. way. Again, it, he's doing more harm than good to that knee right now. They don't call a high risk for nothing. Trying to stomp, perhaps get some feeling into the leg. Again, Smooth. back to the ankle Good and trip. the knee. Yeah? Yeah. You think that's the case? Yeah. You think that's the case? Watch this. 
Oh, I says, you know what, kid? You're a I'm a teacher. You're a leprechaun. Watch this, kid. Wait, wait, make a rainbow. Make a rainbow.